So you wanna create high converting Facebook ads, but you either don't know where to start or what formats actually convert. This is a common problem I see, and in this video, I'm gonna break down an exact walkthrough on what Facebook ad formats convert, so that way you can increase your overall return on ad spend, get more sales, and be able to scale up even further. So today, we're wasting no time, and let's jump into it. All right, so we're gonna be covering high converting Facebook ads and a little bit about my Facebook ad experience. All recommendations are gonna be based off of data, not personal opinion. We're very data-driven here and we wanna make sure that we only share things that are based off of actual facts and numbers and not just how we feel about an ad because our feelings don't necessarily equate to actual results or the truth. Now I've advised on over 200 million in ad spend across Facebook's products. I have an agency where we also manage Facebook ads for medium to fortune size 100 brands. And so the first actual ad format that converts and can be very scalable is a comparison style ad. And we have two of our clients here, Waterboy, where they did a comparison ad and hardworking gentleman. Then we also have supply here as well. And as you can see, this is a comparison style ad because it's comparing your product against another company's product. So Waterboy's comparing against Liquid IV. Waterboy's comparing against Pedialyte, Gatorade, and they're highlighting the actual ingredients and the main differences in the product. This is a really good ad and these can be very scalable because it's actually showing consumers why they wouldn't go with the current brand they're using and why they should either switch or why they would choose your brand over another. This is really good because a lot of times people don't always read the labels, they don't always know what the benefits are or what the negative side effects are as well. So it's always good to call out if your product's better, compare it and highlight this and you can see really good sales from this. Then we have another one which is the us versus them, highlighting the ingredients, washes out with ease, and then they're talking about how this brand that a lot of people are probably familiar with has negative overall ingredients, can damage hair and scalp. This could be a really big concern for a lot of people. And so therefore clicking on this and purchasing is going to increase the likelihood of it. And then we have another brand and these are kind of three different formats that you can see. One's a table, you can compare multiple brands. Another one is just a simple us versus them. And then this one's showing any old razor versus their supply razor. So highlights the differences, why you don't wanna use your old razor and why you might switch to their actual product. So that's a comparison style ad and it's a really good format that you can actually use. There's lots of brands you can compare to or you can compare to general things. Like we also have done this with wallets where you have a minimalist wallet versus a bigger wallet. Anybody who just carries a lot of cards in their wallet versus a minimalist one, that's a comparison just in general to all wallets and that can also work. And then we have the trial kit. The trial kit's really good for getting people to actually test out your product and get them on a recurring basis. This is really good for businesses that are either doing a subscription-based model where you're using shampoo over and over again and you want a customer to always come back or you're trying to get them on your other products because you have a catalog of either deodorant, you have you know makeup and lots of different things that people can try and it gets them indoctrinated and then to your brand by allowing them to test out which products they like. So the free trial kit's really good and can actually maintain a great ROAS because if people really like it, they might buy other items as well. So this is good for shaving companies, cosmetics. This is great for you know actual hygiene businesses, anything that's recurring. And then we have mud water here as well, 20% off your starter kit plus free shipping. is a really good offer because lots of people will try it out, which is why it's called the trial kit. It's a great way to acquire tons of new customers and build up your overall returning customer base. If you have a really solid returning customer base, then doing trials and giving out really good front end offers is going to allow you to scale exponentially because that revenue is gonna stack over time. And then we have flat lays. And flat lays is essentially taking your product and putting it on a flat lay. You can do this with sunglasses. You can see this is just laid down flat. You can do this with tees in a nicely branded way. Cuts here and just overlaying each polo and pink lily as well, where you just quite literally lay the items down on the ground, take a photo and you wouldn't believe it. The ROAS is absolutely incredible on flat lace because it's easy to see. There's no model's eyes to get detached from. You can focus on the product itself. And this is also a good way to show variety. So if there's one color that people don't like or they do like, it gives options. So it's gonna increase the likeliness that somebody's gonna click through and wanna browse on your site and find a product that they like. You can also do this for bundles. This is great for that. And flat lays are a really solid way for boutiques, clothing brands, accessory companies to be able to get a lot of results. Belts, sunglasses, hats, 
The flat lay ad strategy is great for these types of brands. And then we have the product focus, which believe it or not is a very consistent ad in terms of performance. And what that means is, is either on a white background or a black background, it's essentially a blank background with the product in the center. And it's product focused because as soon as somebody sees this ad, they know exactly what they're buying, which is really important, believe it or not, most people won't even show their product immediately or it's stuck in some ad and you don't know what they're actually selling because you're looking at the model, you're looking at their shoes, you're looking at what's in their hand. It's like, what are we buying? Well, the product focus ad allows you to get people to convert right away if they're looking for a deodorant, if they're looking for shoes, if they're looking for a new wallet, they can see that and they'll know it's an ad immediately and it puts them in the mindset to buy. And the cool thing about these ads are if you focus on the product, when you press the shop now and go to the product page with that exact same image, it's gonna increase your conversion rates because people know they made it to the right spot. This is a big thing that a lot of people misunderstand is that you can have a very simple ad like this and get really good results. And here's another key tip that could really help you out. The more you zoom in on your product, like all birds here, the higher your conversion rate. We've discovered this with hundreds of thousands of dollars in ad spend. The more zoomed in the product is and the more it's focused on the product, the easier it is for somebody to see it, click on it and purchase. So definitely try out the product focus. These can also double as retargeting ads. These can double as carousel ads if you have lots of different products. So there's lots of ways to use the white background or dark background as a product focus ad. Another ad is the review-based ads. Review ads are good for credibility and also breaking down buyer objections and also helping illustrate the product from a customer perspective. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of review ads because of their conversion rates and you know the scalability of them, but they are a key ad that does deliver results, especially if you're needing to you know, have some reinforcement and getting somebody to understand the product, wanna buy it, or if they wanna hear from a customer. Reviews definitely do help. So review-based ad is actually just having the copy where it just has a review, or you can have a review-based ad like this with one of our clients, Contempi, where they have the stars down here. And then we have another one of our clients, which is just using a quote from one of their customers. And these are good ads for retargeting as well. They can also double as that. And they can also work for just new customer acquisition. That's the review-based ad. And then we have the lifestyle ad. Lots of people tend to try out the lifestyle ads and then don't really convert. I can assure you, if you're gonna do lifestyle based ads, it's gonna be really great for clothing brands. It's gonna be great for very specific custom products or unique products. If you're selling leggings, for instance, having the model's eyes or face in there isn't necessarily gonna help. If anything, it's gonna be better to focus on the product itself. So when you use lifestyle, these are better for dresses where they can get the full idea or if it's going out in the nightlife, these types of things are good to show the scene or robes where you're using a product very specifically in a moment. You can share that through the lifestyle and it helps encapsulate the overall experience and the vibe and what people think it's gonna look like when they're out. So lifestyle ads can be really great. In fact, these are two clients of ours and they're averaging five to eight X row ads on these lifestyle based ads. Now it's important that you focus on these key categories if you're in this niche, because otherwise lifestyle might not necessarily always result in sales. Like for instance, if you have a golf polo and you're out golfing and that's the photo, those types of ads don't necessarily result in the best actual row ads because people get focused on the golf itself. They're not even paying attention to the actual product. So it's important that you stay within the understanding of where these types of ads work best. And then we have our retargeting based ads, which are great for retargeting. And if you don't know what retargeting is, it essentially means you're targeting an audience where somebody has already completed some form of a conversion, whether it means visiting your website, clicking on your ad, they're already aware of your business. They've already considered buying. So essentially we're retargeting them to get them to come back to purchase. Pally Cosmetics has an example of this where it's a dynamic based ad, whichever product you looked at and didn't buy, they'll serve you an ad and show you that exact product you looked at. And then there's two other examples here. Come back and shop our completely clean, luxurious and cruelty free products. Come back meaning the ad is serving it to people who have already visited the website. We're telling them to come back and actually purchase. This can get a really good return on ad spend and can help you close out that conversion rate to ensure that people are actually moving forward and buying. And then this one says, what are you waiting for? So this is going to customers who've been browsing different products. And now we're trying to get them to move forward with a special offer by saying, hey, don't forget to use our special code 
shop 10 for 10 percent off a little bit more of an incentive to get them to buy which is a really good strategy especially if you are losing out on potential customers this and this can really help you capture those and then we have brand-based ads now this format can really be for any type of ad you can include your brand and i don't just mean the logo in this style of ad what i really mean is an entire collection of ads that are highlighting your brand consistently. Meaning if you went to Chick-fil-A's ad library, you would see tons of ads with the same exact colors, formats. They would always have the same backgrounds. Everything would be positioned similarly because they're trying to maximize the overall brand awareness, which helps fundamentally lift your conversion rate over time. So it's always great if you're looking to play long-term here to include your logo, to include your brand colors to make sure that all of your ads are following a consistent format. Chick-fil-A isn't necessarily going to use lifestyle-based content. They're going to focus strictly on their brand assets and make sure that no matter which ad you see, it looks very familiar to the other ads you've seen before. Same thing with brands like Celsius or Nike. You're going to notice all of their ads have somewhat of a similar format, and that's called brand ads, meaning all of your ads have followed a very specific outline. They include your correct fonts, they have the logos, and there's no exception outside of that. And this can be really good over the long term. And those are just a few of the actual ad formats that are very high converting that you can start implementing right away. There's a ton of ideas that you can execute on now, and I hope you found some of these very valuable. This isn't all the formats. These are just a few of the formats that are high converting. There's definitely more out there. And if you wanna learn what those are and be able to have somebody work with you one-on-one -on -one, like myself and team in your business where we help you set up your Facebook ads, go through what types of ads are best converting for your specific industry and help you scale and get the maximum results possible, then definitely make sure to click the link below to apply for our one-on-one -on -one ads mastery mentorship, where we've helped over 300 plus students hit six, seven, and eight figures in sales. And if you have any questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram at realchasechapel, the word mentor. We've had brands like Curtis here join us and go from zero to $2 million a year in their first year with working with us. And just recently, he was having 100,000 plus sales day all from his organic viral TikTok videos where we were showing him a strategy on how he can maximize his organic growth with no paid ads. And then we have Emiliano here who's done over $229,000 off of Facebook ads in just a few months time. And in my Ads Mastery one-on-one -on -one mentorship, we walk you through step-by-step -step exactly what you need to do with your organic strategy, your social media, the overall strategy for the ads, Facebook, TikTok, and the website conversion rates because each little conversion you can increase on your site, the more sales, the higher the ROI and the better row as you can achieve. And if you really enjoyed this video, definitely make sure to give it a like and subscribe because it really does help the algorithm. Once again, it's your favorite digital marketer here, Chase Chapel. Cheers and bye all.